I mean, one of the first things I started playing with were uh, was the text to speech engine mm-hmm. because the majority of people are using it just in its out of the box form. Mm-hmm. But you shape that whole voice, mm-hmm. and you can you can. There, there's quite a lot of a lot of parameterization both in the standard text to speech engine and in the API where you can get access to some other pieces that mm-hmm. that can't through the standard text to speech. Mm-hmm. Well, you can actually shape it and um, and add another level to the to the personality of uh, of the robot. So yeah, it's interesting stuff. It's interesting stuff. So you've been doing some work on that. Now, one of the guys here, uh, oh, his name doesn't come to me right off. I'll have to look it up. A uh, Japanese fellow who's actually a dermatologist. Do you, uh, do you know? Uh, yes, I've yeah. seen it with his videos. Yeah. Yeah. So. He was really interested in being able to make the robot do some uh, traditional Japanese performances. You know, there are very uh, structured things like, you know, not not as uh, extreme as uh, Kabuki or No Plays or something like that, but uh, there are games that are played and haiku and uh, songs. Uh, but he wanted to explore the ability to change the voice to make it more rhythmical. And uh, do you think that's possible? Uh, do you think there's enough in the speech engine to? It's. I think it's possible. Hmm. Uh, I think there's still a, a fair way to go. I've managed to. Um, well, I, I I put a video up onto my blog earlier on this week. Hmm. Where just to show some of the things that you can do with it, I just took um, the the monologue that Hal does in two thousand and one, right. where they shut him down. Right, 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 right. And we were able to change his voice enough that it has some of the qualities that the Hal voice had. Mm. And if you get towards the end of it, it changes quite rapidly. What I couldn't do is I couldn't get it to sing. <laughs> There's a piece in there where Hal sings um, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. And I just can't get, I couldn't get it to sing along those lines. Okay, okay. One of the things that I've been really uh, tempted to do, and I think I've bored my girlfriend to pieces with it, is that I'd be really interested to start getting him to do... Um, almost acting along the same sort of mm. lines, but of course, being English, I was thinking Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> to be or not to now. No, to now or not to now, right? Something yeah. like that. Well, one that I thought of was now is the winter of our discontent. <laughs> <laughs> now is the winter of our complete content. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so there's there are some pieces there that I think could be interesting, and of course then your mind starts to starts to sort of almost fantasise. But you're thinking actually, if you had two or three people that were interested that all had a robot and got together, you could actually start to think about putting on a play. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that yeah. and that starts to that really starts to to have some implications there because. Sure. I mean, certainly in this country, you could probably almost get arts funding council, um, arts uh, arts council funding right, for that. Right, 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 <laughs> uh, right, right. So yes, so there are some interesting things that I think think are going to come out of this. Um, yeah, well, you know how uh, Matt Denton is in the some work with the uh, Hexapod with the interaction with the camera and uh, done art exhibits and things like that. Yeah. So, and this would be much more uh, along the lines of uh, what uh, Heather Nutt. Heather Knight is doing with her uh, now with the yes. comic routines and stuff like that, yeah. except with the uh, recognition, the, the vision uh, system, and, and that uh, you could extend that uh, much more and make it yeah. much more interactive. So uh, that's oh, fantastic. That's, and of course, you can also use all of those things to uh, to act as cues and keys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I do, did they? Did you see? You saw the marks that they had on the the charging station, so that he could align himself. Yeah, there there were some there, and then uh, Jerome mentioned there were like twenty or twenty five of them in the set or something, and that you can create your own uh, as well. Right. Well, that that's the bit I haven't found out about is the creating their own. I've been using I've been using those marks um, for a while, just working out how they worked, and they just generate a number. Mm-hmm. They each generate obviously a unique number. Okay. Um, 
so again, you've got an ability there where um, using something as simple as that, mm -hmm. you can use it to, to uh, as a key in a queue. So that, you know, taking the acting example, right. as a robot walks into position and the other robot sees it and recognizes the bar, that mm -hmm. can cue an action from the other robot. Right. As well as mm -hmm. the fact that they've included infrared capability to communicate between the robots mm -hmm. uh, as well as all the wireless stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think that there are some interesting possibilities. Mm -hmm. you know, the truck is, is that having to work for a living, you never find the time, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but eventually, I mean, it'll take a little bit of time, but over time, it'll develop to the point where the this will become a business of its of its own, or it'll, or it'll spin off income, right? So I you're going to do performance, works. and then you do art, and then some yeah. artists, some plays do make money, right? Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be interesting stuff. You're going to have to excuse me because I've got a meeting that I've got oh, to go no, 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 no problem. Hey, I really appreciate the time. One thing, is there anything, uh, do you have any problem with me sharing some of this? Like if I edited this and, and Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. Okay. yeah, no, that's fine. That's okay, fine. No great. problems at all. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's wonderful. Uh, I'll watch for you online again and uh, we'll connect uh, probably in, uh, in a few days or a week or something. And I'm really anxious to find out how the uh, two and a half year old uh, experiment goes. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Talk to you Thanks later. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Bye.